Uh, do you think Kyler will be getting a contract extension by the end of the year? And if so, do you think he'll be the highest paid? Will that be good value? I'll let you go ahead and start with that. Hmm. I, I don't know if he's going to get an extension by the end of this year. Um, just simply because they don't have to yet. Um, but will he end up being the highest paid quarterback? Yeah, probably. Uh, Josh Allen kind of reset the market for mm-hmm. for a young quarterback for just insane amounts of money. And I, I don't know that you can justify paying Josh Allen more than Kyler Murray. Um, but I don't think it's going to be by the end of the year. I don't know about you. I could, I think, if, I'll tell you what, I think if he is playing well and they're, they're trending towards the playoffs, I totally see that. Um, and I would say, will it be the highest paid? Probably. If not, it'll be close. Yeah. Um, will it be a good value? I'll tell you, what, I say yes. And I'll tell you, here's my one. Okay. If you know your quarterback is that guy, right? And you believe he's that guy, it it actually behooves you to get that extension earlier because like being the highest paid quarterback lasts for about three months, right? Yeah, usually. And that, right. And that contract that sounds seems really big now, a year from now is a deal, right? Mm-hmm. So like the, with, with that in mind, like you know, if you're gonna, if you know they're the guy, or you're 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 confident that they're the guy that you want to build around, um, and you know you're gonna have to do that big contract, get it now because the per year average, if you wait till next year, might be five ten million more a year, right? Yeah. Um. So I say yes, and I think it will. If, if I think it will be a good value, maybe not. It might not feel like it immediately, but two years from now, people I think would look at it as a good, uh, good contract. 